Hi everybody, I just want to really quickly go through and talk about the sine ratio. So remember that in a right angle triangle, um, the, the ratios of pairs of sides are going to depend on the angles that we use to build that triangle. And that, that dependence is, is understood by the calculator. Okay, it's, the calculator's got that all programmed in here. So when we look at an angle here, the sine ratio is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So when we're looking at our triangle right here, if we're talking about sine of A, the side that's opposite A is going to be little a, so it's going to be little a over, and the hypotenuse is going to be C. If it's angle B, we're looking at the sine of angle B is going to be the length of little b divided by the hypotenuse. So now all I want to do is I want to go through and do some examples and show you really what amounts to the three different kinds of equations you get for sine. So let's take a look at this question right here. I've got an angle, so that's identifying the opposite and the hypotenuse. So I know I'm going to be using sine. So the sine of 62 degrees is going to equal x over 14. And then what I'm going to do here is go to my calculator and figure out that that sine of 62 should be 0.8829 approximately. Okay. And so that is what this ratio should be equal to. And I'm going to put that uh, decimal over one so that now I can do cross multiplication. And I think it, it makes sense what I'm doing here. It's going to be 0. 8829, we're multiplying that by 14, it's going to be x multiplied by 1. And when I multiply that together, I get approximately 12.4 is the length of my x side. Okay, so that's one type of question. In this case, the unknown is the side opposite. In this next one, again, I've got my angle right here, which is identifying that 5 is the opposite side, x is going to be the hypotenuse. So the sine of 38 degrees is going to be 5 over x. Now notice how this one compares to the one that we just did. I go to my calculator, I enter in the sine of 38 degrees, and I get 0.6157 approximately is 5 over x. And I'm going to, again, write that decimal as if it's over 1. I'm going to cross multiply. So x multiplied by 0 0.6157 is going to equal 5 times 1, or just 5. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the decimal there. So I'm going to get 5 over 0 0.6157. And again, I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to get approximately 8.1. Okay, probably should be using approximate signs all the way down there because I round it. The last question that you're going to get here, the last type of question you're going to get here, is when you've got the angle identified, but I don't know what it is. That's what I'm looking for. But I can see that I've got the side opposite, and I can see that I've got the hypotenuse. So I still know that this is going to be the sine ratio. And the sine ratio will equal 8 over 12. But this time, because the angle is the unknown, the sine ratio won't work for me. I already know what the ratio is. It's 8 twelfths. Okay? I'm not looking for the ratio. I'm looking for the angle. So on my calculator, I use the inverse sine button or the second sine button. I enter in that ratio. And then the calculator is going to tell me what the angle is, and it's going to be, in this case, approximately 42 degrees. Okay? So I hope that makes sense, gives you a little bit of clarity on, on how to use uh, the sine ratio, or at not, if nothing else, it reminds you how to use it.